Hey, well, welcome back to the farm, friends and neighbors. Been a while since you saw me. Whew, man, I've been busy. Whew, man. In the pandemic and getting over my shot. I tell you, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not saying do it or don't do it. I'm not giving advice. This is just my opinion. I got my second flu shot. It took me too much to recover off that shit. I'm still getting over that. I've taken shots in the military when I had to go overseas. And guess what? <laughs> They didn't mess with me that bad. Whoo, baby, I'm telling you what, but you do what you want to do. Enough of that political stuff. Well, I got that custom John Beanland 7 Psalm rifle back out here today. And, you know, on the last one we showed, we had a pretty good load worked up. Pretty, you know, got my pet load doing what I want it to do, more or less. And now we're going to stretch it out to 600 yards and see if it does what it needs to do at that distance. Now, uh, hopefully it's going to do what it needs to do and i can only say if it does i'm i'm going to be very very pleased very very pleased pardon me uh got a little wind today but hopefully thankfully i'm shooting straight into it so with the best of luck this is going to be awesome now you'll also if you will pardon the noise in the background if you can hear it we got some uh Heavy equipment rolling around here today. You know, in the last videos, I was talking about how they're getting ready to do some work on these tires, on these wind turbines. Well, yes, they are all right. They're tearing two of them completely down. They already got one just about down, and they're going to work on the other one today. And uh, going to be doing some more work out here for several months. So, going to have to make some adjustments on that. But anyway, uh, in reference to that, just in case you've ever wondered how they do it, Here's a little short clip about how they get them big ass blades way the hell off of that tippy top of that tire all the way to the ground. Enjoy it. It's just a few minutes. Check it out. You might be pleasantly surprised, maybe even amazed. Be right back with you. Look at that bandit. Come off of there just pretty as you please, buddy. You see everybody up on top of there. That's a man that get paid some damn good money, buddy. I bet you, you get me up there, you're gonna have to pay me a hundred dollars a minute. Screw that shit.
wild bandit. He's bringing her down. See what they did, Bandit? They pulled it off the front. They had the blades already set in proper motion. In the position they needed, he swings it a little to the left, about well, 45 degrees. And that right hand blade clears the top of that generator housing. They got guy wires on the blades on all three of them and he starts letting her down real easy. And that blade unit is actually coming down behind the tower now. And when they get it set down it will be back there to the rear and to the left of that tower. They stayed out in front of it. See that? What are you doing napping over there, dog? Some interesting stuff going on here. Slowly but surely, bring her on down. Now they're going to reach a point where they're going to want to pull that bottom blade, that blade that's pointing straight at the ground. They're going to bring tension to bear on that blade. So that they can lay that puppy down flat on the ground. just so far using just his cable and pulley system and then eventually he'll start to actually move the crane boom so that they can hold that tension and he can move it forward and bear that weight ain't that cool as hell this is awesome bandit you ever see anybody doing these Halfway down. Won't be long, they'll be starting to transition from vertical to flat. Stand by. So now they're making that transition. You hear that signal, that warning beep, something backing up. That vehicle's putting tension on that line. Now the boom operator on that crane, he's gonna move her a little bit. Big crane. And as he lets her down, the boy on the bottom blade keeps it pulling out. Okay, now they're at a different transition. Now the other crane driver, he's bringing his boom out and he's bringing a block and tackle in to play. Now he's going to get his block and tackle into a loop that is already attached to that blade. Yeah. It will only bear just so much tension being pulled like that. Now he's going to use his crane to support that weight. Stand by. There's going to be more fun to cut. You see that little crane? They've got his block and tackle hooked up into that strap now. 
he's going to put tension on that and do his little piece of work here. Bendy, what are you doing taking a nap? I never saw a dog that's less interested in technology. Anyway, you keep pulling that puppy up. And he'll start doing his thing and get that puppy laid flat here in a few minutes. Slowly but surely, he starts to move his entire train rearward. Bring that rearward and swinging that boom to his right. That's making that entire assembly just turn face first, well, actually butt first to the earth. Yeah. But you can already see the angle of it. I think that scraping noise is, is that blade going down the back of that tire if I ain't staking. Surely is what it sounded like. If it is, that blade is screwed. Now you can't see it, Bandit, but they've actually got a 
platform jig sitting on the ground already set up and they're going to set that down right on it they'll hold it all in place right there while they do what they got to do to get the blades off they'll disassemble that whole unit right there All right, ain't that cool? <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. It is hot, it is 10 a.m. and it feels like 2 p.m. in Louisiana. So we got humidity, we got wind, we got all the factors to make this a really fun shot. So without any further ado, uh, if you remember, we're at our 600 yard range. Um, we don't have a camera set up down there, so Hopefully you'll be able to hear the sound of the whack on the steel. It should be coming on the wind as it's coming to us. So stand by and let's take a shot or two. All right, we got our point of view adjusted. And remember, you see the two white plates. One on the left is just a marker plate and the one on the right is that eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall AR500 armor plate. And hopefully, the microphone will pick it up when, the, when and if I hit it. And let's put it that way. When and if I hit it. All right. Hail Mary. Full of grease. Let's see what we can get done here. Because Lord knows I've been looking forward to this. If it performs well here, then we'll... We'll start working on 1,000 yards. That'll be the fun part. on the first round can't beat that stuff let's throw another one at it you know just because <laughs> I think I'm rolling left On the right side of that plate. Whack! Moved at that time. Wind must have pulled a couple degrees on me. I'm a liking it. I'm a liking it. Well, I don't know about you fellers and boys and girls, but uh, tell you what, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Might have to make a few adjustments, but man, I tell you what, that's going to be tough to beat. So uh, we might tweak a little on the load but other than that i think we're just about ready to go hang that thousand yard gong so uh, stretch the little bean and custom out a little bit further next time matthew y'all come back and sis oh got another little short thing i wanted to show you be right back hey like i said i got this one little thing i want to show you <laughs> you could like it i know i did uh, came to the shop some months ago nice little ruger single six three screw 22 long rifle and uh baby you can tell it's been around the block a time or two made in the late 60s or early 1970 nice little piece listen to him clicks <laughs> is that not this pistol 
50 some odd years old. Still got it. Well, I haven't shot it yet, so let's find out how well it shoots. And we're just going to sling a few at the plate, defensive style. Not going to worry too much about shooting bullseyes with it. Be right back. All righty, earplugs in, eye pro on. Let's see how we do. Bang, 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 bang. Puppy sheet for true. Can't be a deal like that. <laughs> Hell, let's do that again. What do you say? Somebody give me some bullets. Here's some bullets. Was that old rock and roll song? Give me back my bullets. <laughs> Tell you what, the way things are in the political climate nowadays, we all might be singing that for too long. I wouldn't doubt it. <sighs> Just knocks the paint right off that puppy. that that's pretty dang fun let's do six more what the heck right and I bought these bullets on sale a few months back I won't tell you what I paid for them because you want to shoot me so I got them a lot cheaper than Everybody thinks I did. And I ain't gonna tell you where I got them either. I'm just kidding you. I didn't do that. I've had this ammo for 30 years. <laughs> Gotta burn some of it up now and then. You know, sometimes you just... Gotta burn a little up. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, another nice, sweet little deal. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I think I'm going to like that pistol. I'm going to see if I can't find me though a pair of those uh, black plastic gutta percha grips. To me, I'm a purist, and they came out with those, and these pistols, well, they look good with wood grips. That's nice walnut, but them black plastic grips, that's what I like. Anyway, puppy shoots just fine, and uh, that's probably enough of this fun in the sun BS right now, because it's now just a little past 10 o'clock, and <laughs> Jesus, it's hot. So we're going to get out of this stuff, get back in the AC, and let the sun do its thing while the rest of these poor bastards work on these wind turbines and stuff. But I bet those poor bastards are making a lot of money. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you guys stopped by. Sorry for taking so long to get something new out to you. I enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, we're gonna, gonna do a little tweaking on the load for that seven psalm. I get that puppy where I want it. We're gonna go hang that thousand yard plate. We're gonna make some long range noise. Yeah, <laughs> like 600 is it? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but. I want to hit that thousand yard plate. Well, like I said, thanks for coming in. 
thanks for stopping by i'm glad you did i hope everybody you and yours is staying healthy happy and hell whatever that word means i used to hear it when i was a kid you don't hear it anymore it's a lot of things like that but i'll be working on getting that done on that thousand yard plate and i've got a couple other projects in the works it's going to take me a little bit to get everything set up but it's going to be pretty fun when i do it so y'all have a great day take care of yourselves take care of one another be happy be good i love you pass it on Bye.